child decides to turn an upsetting experience into something positive. Paula Tutman has a look at the movement One Troy Child Inspired. You know, I don't think it's unusual that any child asks questions. Why? Why does it rain? Why don't the stars fall from the sky? But one of the most important questions being asked at Hill Elementary School in Troy, Michigan right now is, why not? There are often people on many of the roads many of us travel. When we see these people, we make a decision. We either help, we do not, or we pretend we don't see them. Axel, a fourth grader from Troy, not only saw, he could not ignore. We were coming home from the movies and we saw a homeless man and then I wanted to give something to him and then my dad said, well, we can't help everyone. And so as many children do, he asked a question. Why not? It's humans that we need to, we need to show love to other humans that we need, we can show kindness. From that question, a movement at a school where the principal doesn't use the word student, she uses the word friend for everyone she encounters. Can I talk to you for a little bit, my friends? And that idea that everyone is a friend, that everyone deserves respect, honor, and help. There's veterans that are homeless, and it's really supporting to all the veterans and people, just strong people that are homeless. That there are no strangers because everyone is a friend stuck. I thought this is a really perfect opportunity for our building to get involved and for a student to become a leader. And so the Axman Why Not Project was born. Start taking the items and making piles, like deodorant would be in one pile. Where do you want to Okay, we have six packs of gum and eight packs of hard candy. Yeah, we need more socks. 100 care bags are being collected. Each class is responsible for a specific item, toothpaste, food, socks, a tarp because the ground is wet, hard yes. candy because it's why nourishment, <laughs> yeah, because why not, because you're a kid and it's candy. And the parents of the students will be asked to carry these care bags in their cars. Now they can have food and they can live just like us and be really happy. If you just drive somewhere, then you see a homeless man or a homeless woman or like a homeless family, you just take a bag out of your car, give it to them. Simple. Wow. I am deeply moved by that child. I am deeply moved by these children. And I, I know people are going to ask if they can help these children. And the answer is yes. Uh, it's Hill Elementary School in Troy in the 18 mile Dequinda area. Don't try to enter the school with socks and cold weather clothing and food items. They will have a box in the vestibule or outside. And if you don't want to help, just ask yourself, why not? Karen? Wow. Humans being nice to other humans. Right? What a concept, right? Great reminder. What a I am what moved. a leader for that young boy. Thanks very much for sharing that story, mm -hmm. Paula. Still come first.